Back on the freaking road, man. It's been so long. It drives good. It's just the tire life. I hope they can align it. They should be able to align it this time, no problem. The spot is only like 10 minutes away, so we should be fine. Bro, I didn't even see that. The roll looked flat. I'm the fiddler on the roof, I'm sending 50 out the window. I used to work at five below, but now I keep that five below. The bottom of your car is untouched. Wow, super clean underneath. Big lows, big lows. That's like perfect, no? That's close. Three degrees off until it's crazy. But I don't know how that works. The 21 degrees. The most camera I've ever ran was 15. 21 is crazy. Welcome back to what is yet again another freaking banger, boys. As you guys can see, the GTI will be back on the road today, all right? It's been months since this car has hit the road. You guys remember last time we were on the road with the GTI. <laughs> Brand new barrel put on, still leaking tire. It's a zero PSI. Yes, literally a zero. Uh, we don't no know where why. it's leaking from. My guess is the valve sun. Who knows what? We'll, we'll hear from the professionals. Today is the day we go and get the alignment on the GTI. We did this video so many times, and every single time they weren't able to align the car. So this time I feel like they will be able to because we took some camber out the side that wasn't reading originally. It was actually two videos we did, and both times they couldn't align it. So I think today is going to be the day we get the proper alignment done on the GTI, and then we can officially possibly. Possibly even daily the car. That's all it needs. That's really mind. all this car needs and um to fix this leak because this is ridiculous. It's still low. Yeah, it's still pretty low. It's probably like 40 or something. Wow. We got like webs on it. Literally like webs. Look at that. That's so bad. There's webs all over the car. That's how you know we haven't driven in a long time. Look at the clears. Ugh. Ready? Oh. Damn, she sounds ready to go. Probably just pinched it. All right, boys, here we go. It's been so long since we had that nice view of the lights right there. Last time we drove this car, though, I had my bass and stuff still in me. I don't even got the bass no more. <laughs> no music. Yeah, those are the tow lines right there. The tow lines are still there. There they are. Hopefully, after this video, everything will be fixed, though. The spot is only like 10 minutes away, so we should be fine. No, after that bump was crazy. That... We lost like 30 PSI. Bro, I cannot de beat on the way to the tire shop. Align this, bro. It drives good. It's just the tire life. I hope they can align it. They should be able to align it this time, no problem. I'm just scared about this tire right now. I don't want this to leak. And the floor is hot. It's hot as hell outside right now. Ooh. Bro, that was my barrel. That was all barrel right there. We're not even that low. We're like fake low. It's just the barrels, bro. I'm getting vibration. I'm getting vibration. And we're late for our alignment. I drive so good, bro. I don't even need this alignment. Like, this shit cruises. Like, <laughs> all right, boys, we have officially arrived. Look at that. Perfect. Wow, the reflection is crazy. Do you trust him driving your car? No. Put up with a 40, not a grind. 40,000 to 1,000 dollars, but a nigga never had salad. I really be outside with them boys. My name Valid. My brother probably up in the cell, chilling on the tab. I like the boot, Ron Uncut. Not in the couch, my niggas really drill the real life. Like, they That shit looks so good in here. The light is carrying predictions. Like, how good is my eyeball like? Oh, um, you're probably off by two degrees. Two degrees? <laughs> that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, degree. I don't think I'm off by that much at all. Damn. What about the camber? How much camber do you think you got in the front? Negative 20. Let's say 18 in the front and then the rear 23. 23? What the? Stuff. That is not no damn 23. Yo, predictions? You think my eyeball alignment is dialed or not? Since last time you've seen it, I done messed with it like hella times. 
I hope, bro. He said, hopefully it reads. It's gonna read. It's gonna read. I know it's gonna read. It's gonna read. It's, gonna read. it's definitely gonna read. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. To this cash, I'm running through this guac. I'ma just keep snapping for the fans. They waiting on me to drop. I told you I don't need no pen or pad. The bottom of your car is untouched. Wow. Super clean underneath. Big low. Big low. But the gas showing. See my ABS line right there just cut. Where? Oh, that's probably. Oh, that's you. That you cut that. Took some tilt out. What was that? Like a degree, right? Probably like a degree. Like 1.5. Took a degree and a half of camera out this, and now it, it reads perfectly. It's all green. That means perfect alignment. Damn! Bro, look at my toe, though. That's like perfect, no? That's yeah, cool. And that's the one that wears in 50 miles. I told you. You think, yo, these eyeballs, yo, this is 2020 right here. Three degrees off until it's crazy. Well, three degrees because I was touching. So it was probably like off my favorite, like a degree. I think I'm addicted to this cash. I'm running through this guac. I'm gonna just keep snapping for the fans. They waiting on me to drop. It's good to do like a degree positive on, I mean, point one. I mean, I leave it whatever factory is, but I don't know how that works, the 21 degrees. I think you'll be fine still in the side. Cause I can put it at zero, but most camera I've ever ran was 15 and I was chilling. But 21 is crazy. Like, waiting for the papers now. Oh, yeah, to so go get it? Yes. Damn, look at that view though. That Crazy in the back. So before it was this, right? And this is the one I was getting the 50 miles out of. 50 to 100 miles out of a side. But then this one, front right, was at negative 0 0.50, 0 0.38. But look at the tilt difference. It's so much better now, though. Toe is perfectly perfect. even on both sides. And then the back, the toe was off by Ooh. 0.50. Now it's 0.27. Less. Camber is almost even and... Pretty minty. It's pretty mint. Pretty mint for negative 22 degrees. It's, it's it has mint. I went and drove it down the other street and it was like kicking a little but I couldn't tell we weren't going fast enough and the road was like uneven. I hope I really hope that front left fix itself. I really hope so. You think it'll like undo itself? No, 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 no. He told me like if anything if it doesn't drive good or anything he said just go back but we felt the rear kicking a little bit so he went through it back on the rack and he was actually able to dial my camber and alignment in the rear perfectly so like now tilt and everything all around it's saying negative 20 21 in the front and then negative 18.5 in the back. So we got double digits. We're not in the 20s all around, but 21 and 18 is pretty good. W rollers, W rollers, W rollers, W rollers. He was about to risk it all for the roller. Nope. <laughs> It is 2 in the freaking morning. Look at this. 2.48. And I just came home from driving the GTI. We got the alignment done yesterday. We drove home. It was fine. It was perfect. The car wasn't like really swaying that much. It was just driving straight as like it was before. When we got home, the tires were a little hot from previous experiences. Anytime my tires have been hot, that means they're actually wearing a lot more. But it was sunny out and everything. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just hot outside. The pavement is a little hot. So the the tires are a little hot, right? Then tonight, I just went to the gym, which was 10 miles away. Once I got there, I checked the tires again and they were hot again. Mind you, it's nighttime. It's like 75 degrees, no sun. So there's no reason why the tires should be that hot. I went ahead and checked my brand new passenger side tire. And when I looked at it, it was literally bald. I'm going to pop up the clip right now. And you guys can see that it's literally bald. And it's only been like 20 something, 30 miles maybe. I got home and I was like, yo, I gotta bring it down a couple degrees. None of this makes sense. My alignment is perfect now. The numbers are reading it's perfect, but the tires are still wearing. So then I was like, okay, hold on. Let me take a few steps back, right? It's a little crumpled, I know. It's a little messed up. Here is my alignment when I started. This side right here has always been the tire that would wear in like 50 miles. And then I would have to flip it. This one was the side that would wear in like almost a thousand miles, and then I would have to flip it. So this one was really good. These two, the camber was off. However, you guys see the toe it was at negative 50 negative 38 when I would have the rears like that I think I put like over 1500 miles on that one side this is what we left with very even camber even as well now now when I drive with the tires like this they almost felt as if they were balding already just based off of this so you guys can see it's perfectly aligned camber is almost exactly the same so then that brings me back all the tires that were negative that had negative toe were the ones that were wearing 
perfectly. This one had negative 50, this one had negative 38, and that was at negative 33. When I went over and did the point zero 0.08, which is in the green, which is kind of like how it's supposed to be, it started wearing crazy. Maybe because of the car being so cambered as it is, maybe we have to put everything to negative. It will all make sense to why this tire was wearing as fast as it was. It's very confusing, but I think that's the solution. Now, I know you guys are probably gonna be like, no, it's hey, that's wrong, don't do that. But listen, at this point, we've tried everything. The rears were literally perfect at a negative toe. The front was perfect at a negative toe. So there's only one common solution. I think, boys, I think this is the solution. You guys can see I'm in the driver's seat. Woo! I don't think I'm nervous. I don't think I'm nervous. I, I got this. I got this. Seatbelt on first, you know, of course. It shouldn't be bad. It shouldn't be bad. We got gas. First kid. The kids are way different. I feel like this car is a race car. The paper's gonna be printed out. We'll see the results. Your math, let's see how it works out. How do you feel about this? If it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, what's gonna happen? GTI. GTI won't be able to hold this whatsoever again. I think your equation work, should work. I think it's gonna work. You're gonna drive it. It'll drive straight. We'll be fine. Tires the last. I think this is the one. Yes. I think this is it. Yes. Your hood and ain't nobody know you. I'm a mo I expected it to. The front is at negative 0.27 and the rear is at 0.14. With these new numbers, I'm hoping everything lasts. If this does indeed work, expect so many more bangers coming with the GTI. I know a lot of you guys have been saying you guys missed the GTI. You guys were wondering like where it was, but now it's finally back on the road after months. And hopefully, like I said, this alignment is perfect so that way we can really just make some good content and of course, And of course, be outside. Listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's finger. Peace. It's been so long. Predictions. I feel like this car is a race car. Over here thinking it's just a regular car. We'll hear from the professionals. That'll be a girlfriend.